Why do you want to be an entrepreneur? Have you ever stopped to sort this out? It's important, my friend, because many, many people, especially those who are new to business, desperately want to become successful entrepreneurs because of what they believe and what they think they'll get for themselves. But is this the right approach, the right mindset to going into business? Well, in fact, approaching business like this will very likely lead to disaster. Here, you're gonna find out why, exactly why, and together, we're gonna get clear about why you really want to be an entrepreneur. What is going on? If this is your first time here, I am Jeff from 10tononline.com, and here, it's all about escaping the grind, building a fulfilling online business, and launching a better tomorrow. All right, now, to help you along with all this business and entrepreneurial stuff because I know it can feel confusing like a tangled jumbled mess. So to help you out, to lay everything out for you, I've put together for you a free online business jumpstart guide. This is a free, easy to follow PDF guide. It's even printable. That gives you a solid foundation and blueprint for you and your online business and your marketing endeavors. Your guide gives you a step-by-step -step checklist to go from where you are right now to building your profitable business online. Loaded up with powerful action steps that you can take immediately and packed with valuable tools and resources, go and grab your free guide right now while it's still available over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. You don't wanna miss it. Now, as I said just a moment ago, a lot of people are desperate to become successful business owners and entrepreneurs, but for all the wrong reasons. Most people go into business in the first place because of what they believe and think they will get for themselves. We touched on this just a moment ago. In other words, many new business owners and entrepreneurs want to make a lot of money and build a successful business because they think and believe having those things is what they really want most. But my friend, here is the truth. Here's a cold dose of reality. Here's what's really going on. Very, very often, many people want a lot of money and a lot of success and all this stuff because, let's break this down, they're trying to be someone who is defined by other people. They're trying to achieve or reach or live up to what someone else, other people, has defined as quote unquote successful. In other words, many people are not true dyed in the wool entrepreneurs who are completely obsessed with creating new innovations and solutions to fix difficult and complex problems for other people. Jeff, what the heck are you talking about? My friend, I am talking about exactly what real, true business is all about. This isn't playtime. This isn't let's get rich quick. This is real, true, in the trenches, dirty entrepreneurship. Most people are not obsessed with that sort of stuff. Instead, they are obsessed with themselves and with what other people think of them. And my friend, if that is you, if you are getting into business to try and impress other people or to fulfill some kind of definition that someone else has created, then listen, man, you gotta hit the brakes and course correct because the reality is whether you know it or not, you and your business are about to go off a cliff. As far as you and your business are concerned, it is absolutely crucial for you to ask one simple, single question question. Why? Why am I doing this? Why do I want to have a successful business? What are my big reasons for wanting to be an entrepreneur in the first place? Listen, man, if your heart and your mind is in the right place, you're going to be just fine. But if it isn't, then frankly, you are playing life by a set of rules that someone else created and defined. Going through life abiding by someone else's set of rules what we think other people define, again, quote unquote, success as, is a terrible way to live. Many, many entrepreneurs, especially those who are brand new to business, run their businesses and run their lives based on the perception of what they think other people have of them. They don't want to be a successful entrepreneur because they absolutely love business and innovating and problem solving. They don't buy all the luxury goods and sports cars because they actually like this stuff. They want these things and buy these things because they think that other people think that these things equal 
status, success, luxury, and all that BS. And man, here's what's worse. If these types of people actually do get some success in their business and actually do go and buy the luxury goods, the sports cars, and all this kind of stuff, really what they're doing is they are upgrading their lifestyle. This is called lifestyle creep. They lease an expensive exotic sports car, maybe buy a big house and go on some wild crazy vacations. They start drinking their own Kool-Aid and believing that other people think that they're successful. And guess freaking what? They have now trapped themselves. Now they're in a jam. Now their business has to keep bringing in revenue to fund their inflated lifestyle. A lifestyle they didn't even consciously choose or design for themselves. Instead, remember, it was all based on what they thought success was. And if there's a downturn in their business or in the wider economy, which happens, then they start struggling to keep up appearances. What happens here is that they've attached their sense of self-worth to this quote-unquote successful lifestyle, which is really just a consumer lifestyle. And now that lifestyle is starting to fall apart when their business takes a downturn. What do you think that does to their sense of self-worth? So what can you do here? How can you avoid this deadly and very, very common business trap? Well, I'll tell you, it starts by getting your head straightened out about why you want to get involved in this business stuff in the first place. And there's still a few things that you and I need to sort out here. But first, after all of this, if you're still interested in business and you're still motivated to become successful for the right reasons, then here's what to do. If you want to get all the detailed steps to building your profitable and fulfilling online business, then you've got to check out Online Business Building Blocks, 10 Steps to Building Your Fulfilling Online Business, Doing Work That matters. Here, you and I get to work clearing the clutter and the overwhelm, and instead you get a set of clear, easy to follow building blocks. Laid out in a step-by-step -step sequential order, these building blocks detail out everything you need to run your successful business. You'll learn how to uncover the best, most profitable business ideas, and how to rigorously test them in the real world first before you go to all the trouble and expense of developing them into market-ready products and services. You'll learn about the most powerful marketing strategies to promote your products and services. And no, I'm not talking about anything trendy or gimmicky. This is tried and true stuff that pro marketers use. Dialing in for you at just shy of 200 pages, Online Business Building Blocks is a short, fast, concise read that strips away all the nonsense and fluff and filler. Grab your copy right now, paperback, ebook, or audiobook over at 10tononline.com forward slash OBBB. All right, now, how do we resolve all of this? I feel like I dumped a whole heck of a lot on you here. What else do we have to untangle? Well, the entire message here, my friend, is to live life on your terms, not on anyone else's or to live by anyone else's rules. That is the true entrepreneur spirit. Further, having big dreams and big goals for yourself is not only very positive, but it's also a prerequisite. Having big audacious goals motivates you to work hard, to take risks, and to really go for it. The crazy sports car that you want for yourself, the adventures that you want to take your friends and family on, these are the bait on the end of the hook that motivate you to chase after the things that you really truly want in life. Not what you think someone else has defined success as, but what you define it as for yourself. What I'm saying here is that you need to consciously design a lifestyle that you want to live on your terms and let that motivate you. But then, and this is absolutely vital, absolutely crucial, you need to put these things temporarily to the side and take care of your customers and your market first. You need to put their needs first before yours. That is what real entrepreneurship is all about. If you take care of your customers, they will take care of you. Have big dreams, have big desires, have big goals. But number one, make sure that you define them on your terms. The car that you really truly want, 
the place that you want to visit truly deeply that you wanted to go to like since you were five or six years old or whatever not what you're seeing on social media but don't make these things your entire focus make them your motivation make your customers and their needs your focus understand that many many people get into business for themselves to resolve their own inner issues of self-worth and self-esteem that is not what business is all about no matter what we see all over garbage social media anyway it's all fake garbage nonsense anyway remove what you think other people think from what makes you truly happy and fulfilled only you can figure that out for yourself what other people think is irrelevant you are the most qualified person to know what you really truly want in life what you really want to be do and become in your life next if entrepreneurship is still a part of your plan go do it for all the right reasons get to work solving big complex problems for the sorts of customers who you want to serve then only after you've helped other people get what they want will you be able to really truly have the things that you really truly want on your terms so i hope this sheds some light on why you want to be an entrepreneur now if you're ready to keep moving forward and really find out what this stuff is really truly all about then it all starts right here in online business building blocks go grab your copy over at tentononline.com forward slash obbb i will see you there next